and rub it in. Again, kind of working it out to the ends. And I like to take my towel while I have the shampoo in there and just kind of work it. Because without standing under running water, you kind of need to use the towel a little bit to help get some of the dirt out. And that's it. Thank you. There's a great sleeping bag. And what's really cool about it is we can zip it up. And then we have little armholes. What's on the menu tonight? Strawberry shortcake. We oh. have these butter cookies and some strawberries with a little bit of milk on top. And Chris, I'm gonna make one for you right here. And here's your strawberry shortcake, ready for you, Chris. Oh, excellent. Thanks for the help, Chris. Come on, awesome. I'm going to toss this. Okay. This works. Usually, get the honey coming out pretty well there. There we go. Looks like just the right amount. Might have to use that as well. We've had to use that one time, which is a little bit scary inside of a spaceship using a ball peen hammer, but uh, it's done a good. Comes Luca. <laughs> and now let's try backwards. I see it. Nicely stuck. Yeah, but it was in the way. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. I would suggest that I open this one. Yeah. And you can release the palm latch. Alright. Thanks for the honor, guys. I really appreciate that. <laughs> no, I really do. How's she look? Kind of cold.
and I hope you enjoyed learning about exercise on the International Space Station. We'll see you next time. My name is Ricky Arnold on the International Space Station. We get asked a lot, how do we sleep in space? And it's a great question because we all know how important a good night's sleep is. Um, if you're not getting a good night's sleep, you can count on reduced cognitive function, poorer reaction times, and maybe just being a little grumpy. And up here in space, just like on Earth, those are things we all want to avoid. So, we go around the Earth about every 90 minutes, which means we get 16 sunrises and sunsets a day. So how we sleep is a really good question because the sun's always getting ready to come up or it's getting ready to set and we use those cues on Earth to let us know when it's time to begin our day and when it's time to end our day. Ricky is talking about circadian rhythm. It's the body's natural regulator for sleep and wake cycles based on a 24-hour schedule. Those 16 sunrises and sunsets he mentioned can cause circadian misalignment and sleep deficiencies during long-duration spaceflight. The hazards of lost sleep can range from poor attention at school to on-the-job errors to long-term sleep loss, even chronic disease. Sleep is super important. Hey Ricky, what are you doing on the space station to get some sleep? Well here in space, we kind of have to do it artificially. So we have these nice crew quarters. It's about the size of a refrigerator. It's very quiet. Um, the space station can be a little noisy, but it's very quiet in here. Um, and we can control light with a light switch. If we uh, are just middle of the day, we have a light, a light like you're seeing right now, which is just this kind of standard lighting. It's getting close to the end of the evening. You want to dim the light a little bit, kind of for the end of the evening. Or if you're going to be up late, you need to keep awake, we have a really bright light setting. The other thing we have is off. You see how dark it got. Um, Another challenge sleeping on the International Space Station, sleeping in microgravity is really nice because you can just float and stretch out and it's really comfortable. The problem is with the air currents in the International Space Station, you could very well float into a piece of hardware and hit your head or worse yet, even break something. So we got our sleeping bag here, just almost like a sleeping bag on Earth. But as you can see, we have bungee cords that help hold us up against the wall. So I almost sleep standing up and also I do have a pillow, it's just a bag full of, uh, of clothes, but I actually keep it up on the top of my head because I'm a little tall in the crew quarters. I tend to hit my head on the ceiling when I'm sleeping. So I got my sleeping bag here. I got my bungee cords to hold me in. And then when it's time to go to bed, it's quite easy. Just unzip the sleeping bag, climb on under the bungee cord, climb into the sleeping bag, make sure you're nice and secure. Zip yourself up, plan on getting a good night's sleep so I have good reaction times, my cognitive ability is what it should be, and that I'm not grumpy in the morning. So with that, I'm all set. Good night from the ISS. <laughs>